Hello everyone, I'm Christian Gules going back on YouTube after nine months. I work in a lot of stuff inside of UAPAT on autopilot, um, new stuff with um, AI. So today I want to present something with AI. So we'll talk about autopilot for um, developers. If you go here on the UAPAT uh, system and you say try UAPAT for free, you will go and log in on the um, orchestrator that is available. Um, there and inside of the orchestrator you have um, um, studio uh, studio web yeah so inside of studio web you can go here and basically using the, the studio web you will be able to test autopilot for developers so i will have here five prompts and with these five prompts i will uh, i will show how it's working to be fast i will copy paste the prompt and we'll execute the code together, yeah? So let's say this prompt, when a Salesforce opportunity is on, uh, please notify the team on Slack that um, for more information about the uh, account using OpenAI. So let's go on the opportunity here. I have some opportunities that are on. Let's go to accounts, let's go to another account. Let's see if I have any opportunities on this one or we'll, we'll create an opportunity that will be on. Uh, I think on this one, we have some opportunities. Yes, let's see the, the stage. Uh, it's value proposition. So instead of value proposition, I will modify this one to be own, yeah? So to be able to have the trigger for this. So uh, in the back, the uh, autopilot will generate the code. Uh, so here I let the, the autopilot working. So he generate the code. When I search for opportunity, I information about, generate the text uh, with OpenAI yeah, and then send the message to um, a public or private channel. Let's see what he generate. Uh, so basically we have the opportunity here. On the opportunity, uh, I have to assign the uh, account ID. So use uh, I will use the account ID from here. Then uh, we have to generate the uh, um, this one with um, uh, OpenAI. Uh, unfortunately, not this OpenAI is working. Uh, uh, I have two connections of OpenAI, and I saw that uh, one of the connection Azure. Uh, uh, open AI. Uh, um, he chose the connection that uh, I don't have the um, uh, enough. I don't. Uh, I don't have enough tokens or something like this on that connection. So I will. I will put this. Uh, this connection. I will choose the. Let's go with this one, and um, uh, we'll see. Uh, get more. Uh, uh, more info about about uh, this company this company company yeah and uh, we'll say that the company was uh, retrieved from this one and it will provide him account name yeah good only one time not times and we put here a space done uh, and here we want to send to a channel so uh, I have my, um, my Christian connection. You will see that, um, uh, and the message will be uh, um, the message will be directly the variable from OpenAI. So uh, use this one, top generated text done. So uh, the system was able to to structure for us the um, the workflow, and I complete some variables. Let's run it, and uh, I have here the Slack uh, system. Let's run it and see the result. Yeah, so normally he will find the opportunity because we create that opportunity to be on. Uh, and uh, um, if he find that opportunity, he will extract the um, the data about that account. Um, Jump sick, it was the company. I think you will find the data on OpenAI about this one. Look, jump spec, it's a UA company based on you know, done. So you see that we have uh, all this stuff. So, uh, when opportunity was created, here I forced the, uh, the workflow. When opportunity was uh, um, uh, close one, extract the data from the account, generate the, the data with OpenAI, and send this on the Slack. 
Good. Let's go to the second example. And on the second example, uh, I will do this stuff. Uh, let's go to, to this stuff. I will go to templates. I will go to... Um, so upload the CV, uh, uh, upload the, the CV on the mail, upload to OneDrive and notify the recruiter on Slack if a CV contains senior or principal. Uh, let's check on my drive. I have it. Uh, let's delete to, because I tested uh, before. Um, yeah, I don't have, uh, I have a limitation on the the stuff that I can do with Slack. So I think I will send it again to, uh, to general, to the, so uh, new email receive, download attachment, upload to OneDrive, extract text, senior principal. So he created a structure. And now let's simply um, connect the variables together to see what um, uh, we can have on the variables. To see what uh, we have on this, uh, um, the structure and what we need to uh, implement in the structure. So uh, inbox, um, I think I have the mail, oh, look, it's from, uh, let's say that the, the mail will, will contain a CV, yeah, to not um, go in other mail. So let's put here a filter. And let's say on this filter uh, to subject contain CV. Okay, CV done. Uh, to not go to other emails and so on. So uh, he download the attachment. You can see that here he choose that if PDF, PDF, docx and so on. Uh, then he upload it to uh, to the OneDrive. Uh, he take the first one to extract uh, um, the text. Here on the condition will say like this: uh, choose. Uh, let's put a variable, use variable, uh, extract text, uh, contains uh, blah, blah, blah. senior, senior, okay, uh, and or uh, let's put add condition, uh, extract the text, contain principal, yeah, principal, uh, principal, Yeah, uh, uh, I don't select it well here, anywhere. Or, perfect, yeah, he put perfect to war. Um, here, uh, I will not go with user. So he 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 go with user with individual messages, but because my Slack version it's, uh, is limited, I prefer to go to channel because you see, I don't have uh, part of free trial, I'm not able to access the, or let's try it if, if it's working, but uh, I'm not sure that uh, uh, I make, I, I'm, I'm allowed to to access the, uh, the user from there. Uh, autocomplete, big GG uh, message, uh, we have, uh, senior CV like this, yeah. Uh, bot, uh, let's test it. So I'll, I'll delete it. Remember, that I deleted from my files. I'm not sure that if my Slack instance will be able to to work with uh, with this one, but um, um, let's see it. So email, upload, download the emails, upload to CV, extracting text, make decision. I'm not. Uh, uh, like I said, the, the Slack, uh, it's limited. It's not. Uh, uh, Let's see here, and we'll modify the um, 
uh, until uh, he will refresh the stuff. Let's modify this one to to put uh, put on channel, yeah, because my Slack is limited, so he he choose very well the uh, the the function, but uh, uh, Slack send. Um, because my my Slack is limited, uh, I'm not able. So I will send it to channel. I will send it to channel. Uh, be careful here. This is another connection. I want to use connections for my personal stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I will go to general message uh, new C your CV like this. Yeah. Good. Uh, let's see on the files that uh, disappear. Look, CV test. So we have the, um, here was the download was done. Let's run it again to see it also in Slack on the, on the general, um, on the general channel. Yeah. So in this way, we avoid the, uh, this stuff. For general channel, we don't have any, <clears throat> limitation so the workflow it's uh, running extracting text running running done send on on slack and here we need to refresh new senior cv done perfect so it was working very well it was just a limitation of my slack let's go to the next one and on the next one um let's see what workflow we have uh so um Let's provide him this command. Summary is a new Gmail with OpenAI. Share the summary in Microsoft Teams or uh, on this one. Now on Gmail, I have this one with same day. Let's see how it's able to generate. Uh, okay. He generated them um, when a new email has arrived. Uh, he will be able also to to take emails. So it's not mandatory to take this one. He can take it also from promotion, depending on what was the last one. If we want to summarize this one, we have to say that it's from same day. Uh, so he created this stuff. Like I said, my open AI is not, uh, 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 this one is not working because I don't have enough, uh, enough stuff. <laughs> so he built uh, this stuff for me. Control C and I will move it to the, uh, to the other open AI. Uh, like I said, I have two open AIs, open AI. I'll this one. I'll take this one with Azure that uh, is not uh, limited on number of. Uh... Okay, I will put the model this one, and I will put back this one. Yeah, but I have to put it as expression. My bad, my bad, my bad. Let's put it as expression because it was an expression. Yeah, so he he format very well the expression for this. Uh, I just need here. Uh, to be careful, I will say um, substring 0 to 3000 to not have a lot of um, <laughs> extra body there. Um, here I will communicate to new team. I will communicate to general. GN and the text to communicate will be uh, the one that is coming from Da Vinci. Yeah? Use the variable of generated text from OpenAI. Yeah. Uh, let's run it and let's see what um, we have. It depends on what uh, uh, on what uh, email he will pick. Done. 
So let's see uh, what uh, uh, we have here on the uh, settings. Hey, I don't have teams. Let's see on Microsoft Teams. I don't see it where it's open. Microsoft uh, Microsoft Teams. But the message should be there. I mean, that's the idea. It's not. Um, uh, it was on this one on Teams, on general. Uh, the connection. <laughs> I think it's this one. It's it's true because. Um, uh, like I said, it's not mandatory to take this email. He take he can take other emails from here with uh, uh, with other stuff. So probably he find an email with Salesforce. <laughs> so he find the email with Salesforce and provide and provide this data. Yeah, okay. Because uh, uh, <laughs> you see that uh, that's the the correct time. Good. Uh, let's go to the to the next one. Yeah, let's go to the next one. Uh, if we want to have exactly that email, uh, we will say, uh, so le let's, uh, let's try to, to have the, uh, exactly that email. Uh, we will say here, uh, okay, additional filter, uh, but it's, it's, it was from Alvin. It was not from me. So, uh, let's say, uh, subject, uh, uh no, uh, email from contain same day same day and i will take it on mine again it's very important to have the so in this one he will read my email he will read normally this one with same day and uh, he will summarize because he read on the other email he summarized, he summarized, but uh, that's why the context was different. On uh, because he read totally other email. It's so the connections are the types of connection that you have inside of Dork. They are a shared connection and work. Uh, um, personal connection, yeah. And uh, he take this is the inform you that is tip about the word. So basically on that same day, I, I bought something from a pharmacy and he told me about uh, the pharmacy uh, uh, pharmacy that I get on the easy box. It's um, open box outside. Perfect. So he read the perfect email and he make a summary. Let's go further. And let's stick to the next one. And on the next one uh, will be this one. Let's see what uh, this one will do and what we need to to provide him. So again, I will go to templates. Uh, I will go here. I will say generate. So send a text message to Mircha when I receive an email with uh, Gmail attachment. I have a lot of emails there on the promotion. I think we'll find an email with um, with attachment, so I'm not able to. Uh, uh, to do, I will not uh, search for email to activate it there. I'm sure that he will find something there. But we need to check to be sure that uh, I have my connection. So if it's my connection um, by default. Again, it's Alvin connection by default. I will put my connection by default. Okay, uh, we don't force this one uh, on the user role here. He put Mircha, but Mircha, it's a guest on on this one. Uh, okay. And this should run, so he will be able to uh, to provide Mircha any information with. Um, uh, let's go chat with Mircha. This is an incident, so he will see the um, a new mail. It's attached. Let's see what he. So the work was working. A new mail is attached with sort confirmare client ID and so on. Okay, good. Uh, and let's go to the next one. Let's see the next uh, 
next problem that I prepare this one again we'll communicate something with uh, um, now it's also with service now like I said I have all the connections here so all the connections are configured here on the personal level and on the share level and when he says that has the share uh, so templates uh, when he's probably when he is not sure about the personal he will go to the share and that's why I have to check to be sure that I have the the right connection in place. So when service now incident was created, send an email to Mircea Trank and also send an individual message to MS Teams. Yeah. Uh, I have a service now here. I create this incident. I think also 2053 it's already created. Let's see if the system will react to this one. Will not create a new incident. So. He has the trigger, he put the, uh, the email and he sent the uh, message on Teams. Let's see um, what we have here. Uh, this is my connection. and so on my connection uh let's put the um, the email here okay New email has received blah blah. He created this one. Let's uh, select the um, user role. It's uh, drop down guest. And he format this incident that has the um, he already put here. Let's say the the number incident and so on. He already format this one. Okay, save. Let's run it. So normally he will find an incident and um, he will send uh, a mail and um, a text message to the um, a mail and uh, a Teams uh, uh, to Mircea about this incident. Let's see the teams because it's easy to see it. An incident was created. You see 255 um, uh, short desktop. That was the description, a short description. And he also sent an email. He sent emails. Mircea service, um, uh, you see the email is it's sent now. So basically, um, he was able to, to do this very fast. So you saw how with the autopilot, I'm able to create very fast workflows. It's not perfect, but it's able to guide you. And um, with this um, uh, studio web, you are able to uh, to make very fast uh, workflows with uh, integration service, with the connection that you have for Salesforce, for Salesforce, you know, for Slack, for, um, for other stuff. And this autopilot will guide you very much. As usual, thank you very much for watching and come to my channel and comment to my movies and ask me what else you want to see on my channel. Stay safe. Have a good one. Bye bye.